Breathing through the right nostril is desired in violent, invigorating, aggressive, strong activities. Fighting in a battlefield, struggling against a barrier, forceful debating or arguing on a hot topic, killing, hunting, sexual coupling, practicing a tantra, hard labors like breaking a stone, pulling on iron cables, cutting wood or diamonds, chiseling a pearl, rigorous physical exercises are most successful if performed in a state when the Surya Swara is on. The intense, rapid, energizing flow of prana associated with this swara is essential for awakening of zealous empowerment and excitation of the mental and bodily faculties. The moments when both the swaras are on, that is, when the prana flows through the sushumna nadi, are of great importance for spiritual endeavors. This duration is referred as sandhikala, that is a junction. For example, evening is the sandhikala between a day and a night. Similarly, the phase of about early hours of morning till the dawn of the new day is the sandhikala between a night and the next day. The scriptures guide us to do prayers, worship and other devotional practices in these time intervals. Eating, sleeping or any worldly activity in these hours is harmful for our physical and mental fitness. The same is true of the Sandhikala of the Swaras too. The equilibrium state of Swaras when the Prana flows through the Sushumna is like a blessed opportunity for the individual self to leap forward in spiritual elevation. These are the moments when all vices, illusions, attachments and the ego are naturally pacified and the divine inspirations and enlightened thoughts are awakened. In a spiritual determination, saintly thought or feeling occurred in these rare moments is inspired by the soul and therefore proves to be absolute. It is said that blessings and curses uttered in these moments surely materialize. The sadhanas of Swara Yoga aim at timely recognition and cautious use of this phase for divine enlightenment and spiritual ascent. The ancient scientists of India, Rishis, had discovered that the microcosm is a miniature of the macrocosm. The functions of the gross physical chemical as well as atomic and subtle levels in the human body also follows the laws of nature, likewise those followed at the cosmic level, for example in the planetary motion. The auto-regulated cyclic variation of the swaras is as natural as the dawn of the day after the night, shift of the sun from winter solstice to the summer solstice and consequent changes in the seasons from winter to summer. However, as a sublime force of omnipresent consciousness is also present in the individual self, it could be used by accomplished yogis in what appear as supernatural effects at the level of the microcosm. Indeed, they do so within the order of the universal laws of nature by controlling things at the level of the energy body which manifests in the gross physical body. It is not possible to explain the intricacies of advanced sadhanas of Swara Yoga in a small elementary book. Nevertheless, we shall discuss some of the yoga practices of changing the pattern of Swaras that are rather simple like the pranayama.